Hey good people, welcome to Math with Miss B, adding and subtracting polynomials. So let's get into it. We have example one out of 10, but I promise they'll go really quickly. So adding polynomials is all about combining your like terms and like terms are all about same exact variable part. I like to say same last name. So X cubes go with X cubes. They got the same last name, so they go together. So that's gonna give me two X cubed plus one X cubed is three X cubed. Notice that they're all color coded for you. So you have five X squared. There's nobody else with his last name. So guess what? He's gonna come right down. And then I have the X's, right? So after the cubes go squareds and then after squareds go linear terms. So that's just the X's negative X plus seven X. That's gonna give you a positive six X, orange, orange, go with orange. And then last but not least is our constants. We have nine plus four, and that's gonna give me a wonderful 13 in purple. And a little lavender, if you will, okay? So and then we're gonna do number two. We're gonna combine like terms. So we're gonna look for our biggest variable first because it has to be in descending order. So we're gonna put 16 X cubed up front. Make sure she's sitting pretty over there. And then we look for the X squared. We have a negative 36 X squared. And then we have a positive six X squared. So we're gonna get negative 30 X squared. And then we're gonna look for our linear terms. So I have a six X over here. And it's the only one, so it just comes right down. And then our constants, we have negative 11 and negative five, and that's gonna give us negative 16. Yay, you, you did two out of your 10 examples. So because this is more of an algebra two type lesson, we're gonna look into where we have multiple variables and the same rules apply. I want the same exact variable part. So that means that when I'm combining my leg terms, the variable part has to match exactly. So we're gonna do V squared, V squared, all my V squareds are gonna go ahead and go together. So negative nine plus one minus one. The plus one and the minus one are gonna go ahead and cancel out. So I'm gonna get negative nine V squared. And then we're gonna get negative two V, negative two UV. So I can only combine it with something that has UV no variable, I mean no exponents, right? So the only other one that does that is four UV. So that's gonna give me a positive two UV. Next, we're gonna go to the U squares. I cannot combine U squared with just a U. So that's why I'm not gonna highlight um, the eight U, right? I'm just gonna bring down the negative two U squared and then the eight U is gonna come by itself at the end because they're not like terms. They don't have the same exact variable part. They have to have the same exact variable part for you to be able to combine them. So that's your final answer for number three. Number four, if you're feeling lucky, you can go ahead and pause the video and see if you can get it by yourself, okay? If not, I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you or do it with you, hopefully. So we're gonna look at our variable parts and we're gonna find the variables with the biggest exponents, okay? And so we're gonna get negative eight X to the fourth, Y to the fourth. There's nobody else to combine it with because there's nobody else with the X four, Y four. Now I have X four, Y three. Is there another one? Yes, we have another one. So negative nine plus three is gonna give me negative six. Moving right along, we're gonna to go to the Y fours are there any other y4s no so i'm just gonna bring that bad boy down and then i have negative xy cubed three y cubed three xy cubed excuse me and then two xy cubed right so negative nine plus three plus two ta-da and that is how you combine things with multiple variables they have to have the same exact variable part for me to combine them Let's move into subtraction. Subtraction adds one more step at the front. You gotta make sure that you distribute this bad boy. All right, distribute that negative, change the signs. All pluses become minuses, all minuses become pluses. And then you just do the same thing you did for the first four examples. You combine your like terms. Look at things with the same last name. X squared, X squared, boom. Negative one plus negative one is gonna give me negative two. And then I have five X. There's nobody else that goes with him. And then I have two, my constants, two and negative six. 
So I have negative four. Ta-da! For number six, again, if you feel unconfident, you can pause the video and try on your own. We are going to distribute this negative. So change all the signs. Once all the signs are changed, we just combine our like terms just like we did before. n squared, 4n squared, 2n squared, 6n squared. Boom. Just the n. Negative 2n. 5 plus 4 is 9. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have finished example 6 out of 10. So let's do number 7. Still subtracting polynomials, right? But I have multiple things going on here, so we're going to distribute those negatives. Right? When I distribute those negatives, I change all the signs. And now I just combine like terms. So x cubed, y squared. They go together, 7 plus 7 is 14. Then I'm going to do my x squareds together. So 4 plus 6 minus 9 is going to give me a 1x squared. And then we're going to do our x's. 4 minus 10x is going to give me negative 6x. I combined all my like terms. Yay! All right, you did number seven out of 10. We're gonna do number eight out of 10. Again, pause the video, do it on your own first before I do it, if you're feeling lucky. Distribute the negatives. We're gonna go ahead and change all those signs. Now we're gonna combine like terms. Eight P cubed Q squared. So the p squareds, now we're going to do those. 2 minus 4 is going to give me negative 2. We're going to do our p's, which I'm going to give you negative 13p. And then our lonely 8q squared is going to come down at the end. And ladies and gentlemen, that is our final answer. So number 9 out of 10, you're almost done. Okay, so you're going to distribute the negative, but there's only one neg negative to distribute. So we're going to distribute that bad boy. And then we're going to combine like terms. Again, you should probably stop the video and see if you can do it on your own. But, you know, no pressure. So combine like terms. Find the biggest exponent part. So that's going to be y4. x4, y4 is three of them bad boys. Negative 7 plus 4. Negative 6 minus 6. Negative 9 x fourth to the y fourth oh my goodness okay so then we're going to go to the next variable part which looks like it's going to be x4 y cubed love that for me so negative 10 minus 1 that's going to give me negative 11 x4 y cubed next up we're going to do our y cubes so we're going to do 7 y cubed everything is combined as much as humanly possible and so there you have it there's your answer so you did nine out of ten so now we're gonna do ten out of ten we have a negative to go ahead and distribute so we're gonna change all those signs and then we're gonna combine our like terms by looking for our biggest variable parts I have a 9 a 4 b 4 and a 6 4 b 4 9 plus 6 is 15 next I'm gonna go for the a 4 b cubes I have 1 a 4 b cubed plus 1 a 4 b cubed so we're gonna get 2 a 4 b cubed and then we're gonna go for the a 4 b squared there's only one of those so we're just gonna bring that bad boy down and then because A becomes before B in the alphabet, we're going to bring down our A cubed and then bring down our B cubed. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, you finished example 10 out of 10. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> anyway, guys, go back over. See if you can do the questions on your own. Like, subscribe, all the wonderful things that people tell you to do. Uh, I'll see you in the next one and be good.